Hello, Gemini. Welcome and welcome back. We're going to get into your August monthly reading to see what the messages are, to see what you guys need to know. Y'all be sure to like the video, subscribe if you're new. Welcome back if you're already a subscriber. I hope these messages help you guys out with whatever you may be dealing with at this time. And if you guys want to be entered to win a free reading, we're going to be doing a raffle on Lionsgate 888. All right. So be sure to click the link in the description box. There is a GoFundMe link that is being used to help me out because I had to move recently. And there's just, you know, things that I have to take care of. But I have moved and I appreciate all of you guys who have supported the channel and supported me um, being so generous in that process. But if you still want to have a chance to be entered to win a free reading, click the link below. Donate if you'd like. And the more you donate, the more chances you have to win. So we're doing the raffle on Lionsgate, you guys, okay? But let's see for Gemini, Guardian Angels, Archangel, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors of the Highest Vibration, Father, Mother, God, for Gemini when it comes to August, ooh, 2024. Iolite, Shift Your Money Mindset. Let's get one more for Gemini, August, 2024. Ocean Jasper, schedule yourself in. So, Gemini, I feel like you guys may need to take some time off. I'm not going to say that you're overworking yourself, but there is a need to kind of like, I feel like there's a need to shift your perspective when it comes to money because you may be open, you may be opening, opening, you may be overworking yourself, okay? Um, with the schedule yourself in card, it kind of feels like you may need to take some time for you. Um, it feels like you may need to take some time out for yourself to make sure that you're, you know, doing the things that you need to do to have self-care. Okay. Adventuring, create your own luck and Labradorite, see the magic. Yeah. You have the possibilities to do anything you want to do. Like your capabilities are endless, Gemini, when it comes to what you're able to do, when it comes to what you're able to accomplish. Okay? And I just feel like there's something about the way you look at money that is going to be very much so a focal point in August. The way you look at money, the way you make your money, that's going to be your main focus in August. But I feel like there's a need for you to take time for self-care as well, because it seems like you might kind of be on the verge of like overworking yourself with these cards. OK, because it's kind of like with this with the see the magic card and create your own luck. It's kind of like your spirit team wants you to know that you can basically create whatever outcome that you want based on your perspective, your frame of mind. Right. So if you have a view of money that's limited, I don't know what it may be in your life, but if you view money in a very limited way, like if you feel like there's only one way that you can make money, or if you feel like you have to work a certain amount of hours, you have to work all this overtime to get what it is that you want. It's like your spirit team is trying to change the way you see money so that you can open up your mind to the possibilities of like different ways to make money, different ways to earn an income without basically overworking yourself or working yourself to the bone, okay? What is going on with Gemini in August 2024, Spirit? What is going on with Gemini? Oh, no. Theft, I know you lying. Pet. And meditation. Yeah, I feel like you guys are very loyal and dependable. And somebody's taking advantage of that. I don't know if somebody's like not paying you what you owe, what you're owed. I don't know if somebody's taking money off your check. There's something going on where you're very dependable, you're very loyal, loyal, you're very reliable. But somebody is stealing from you. So I don't know if your job isn't paying you your hours or what, but there's a need for you to check on that. I feel like somebody's stealing something from you or taking advantage of you in some way because you are very loyal. And I think you're going to be thinking about that this month. Okay. I feel like you're going to be thinking about how much you invest into your situations. Okay. And whether or not you're getting the same in return. What else for Gemini? August, 2024 research 
Yeah, so there's something that you've been wanting to look into that you're needing to look into. Wow, we have soulmate and healing. Some of you guys may not be interested in like finding love right now. Um you're not really looking into finding a partner. You're more so, it seems like you're more so trying to figure out what's going on with your finances or how you can improve your personal development in some way. It feels like with your career, okay? Let me take a thumbnail. Y'all be sure to like the video, you guys. Like the video. Spam your Gemini signs in the comments if it's resonating. Okay, you may be on a path to where you're going to meet someone who's very important in your life, but there's still a little bit of healing that you have to do. What else for Gemini, August 2024? Oh, wow, we have Matrix, okay? Because the research card was kind of in reverse. So it's like you're not looking into something or you're not researching something yet. But I feel like when the month of August comes, it'll come to the forefront of your mind and you'll begin to look into whatever this is. There's definitely some type of illusion or there's some type of facade that's going on. Like there's something that's not real or there's something that's doctored. I feel like something could be doctored like paperwork or documents. I don't know. We have surrender and crossroads. Yeah. I feel like you guys need a break, honestly. Like, I feel like you guys are really involved in the matrix or you're really, like, plugged in. You may need to, like, detach from appliances. Appliances, Lord. Electronics, black magic just popped out. You may need to detach from electronics or social media. What else for Gemini? Relocation, yeah, so some of you may have moved or relocated recently or you're looking into it. You may not be looking into it just yet, but I feel like there's a lot of things on the cusp for you guys. Like August is going to bring a lot of questions to the forefront of your mind when it comes to the decisions that you want to make moving forward in your life. And you're going to be challenged or prompted by the questions that you have to do more research on what you need to like improve upon, what you need to change in your life, okay? We have new vehicle and expecting. So yeah, this is a part of your journey that I feel like you're on. Some of you may get, a, some of you, you may get a new car or have a new vehicle. Some of you guys may have a new home or you may have moved or relocated or you know that this is gonna come soon. I would just temper your expectations when it comes to what's going on in your life. I would just really like try your best not to get your hopes up about a situation if you're not really sure of what's going to happen. I would just try my best to have realistic expectations, Gemini, because I feel that you guys could definitely be having a lot of new situations going on in your life. And you may be trying to balance and manage all of those different situations, figure out what you need to do, what's the best course of action, like which direction you should move into. Um, and I feel like it's really necessary for you guys to just make sure that your expectations are accurate. Because like if you're buying a car or you're buying a home or there's a major purchase that you're making in the month of August, I feel like you guys need to really be mindful of people trying to kind of like get over on you because again, I feel like you guys are very honest. You're very dependable. You're very reliable and people may see that and try to take advantage of it because everybody's trying to get a check. Okay. I also feel like there's something about wealth, right? There's something about money and wealth that I feel like your spirit team, they want you to revisit this. So it's like you may feel that the most expensive car is going to be the best car or the most reliable car. 
but that may not necessarily be true. Some of you may feel like living in the most expensive neighborhood is going to bring you the best results on your journey, but that might ne that might not necessarily be true. It's like there's something that you're not researching 100%. There's something that you're not looking into fully because you're just assuming that the most expensive choice is going to be the best choice or it's like you're not seeing an option that you may have you there may be an option that's better for you in a certain situation but it's like you're not seeing it because you believe that you know the cheapest option is not as great or the most expensive option is better i hope that makes sense okay so let's see what else for gemini Spirit, what else for Gemini when it comes to August 2024? Talking to friends. So, yeah, you may have a lot of conversations. Okay. I found Girl, for what is the Gemini for August? Get, Siri just be nosy all in your business, okay? You may be going through a breakup. You could be talking to your friends about this. Or you could have a friend that's going through a breakup right now. We have challenges. Feeling overwhelmed. Being needy and holding on. Take it one day at a time, yeah. So either you're breaking up with someone or one of your friends is breaking up with someone. I definitely feel like you're not necessarily looking for love right now. Maybe because you just went through a breakup or maybe because you just had a major life change in your life. It doesn't have to be a breakup or a relationship, but it could be a major life change. Like I'm getting insurance, like life insurance, or like whenever you have to report major life changes, and that's a reason for you to be able to update like your insurance policy. So you may be doing stuff like that. But I feel like a lot of you guys may have gone through something major in the recent past, maybe in July, possibly June. And you could be talking to your friends about the different challenges that you're facing. Now they could also be talking to you. Okay, what else for Gemini, August 2024, relaxing, yeah. I feel like you're trying to blow off some steam or you need to, honestly. You may feel like you don't need a break. You may feel like you can keep going, but I really don't want you guys to get burnt out because it feels like your spirit team wants you to know that there's some type of support that you have. You have the ability to create your own luck. You have the ability to step into any space in any room and get what it is that you want. You don't have to be in a particular room or in a particular tax bracket to get what it is that you want. You just have to be yourself. And I feel like there's a need for you to kind of like do some self-care, okay? Sweet nothings, all talk and no action. See beyond the flattery, being easily seduced. Yeah, and then blame. Harboring resentment, pointing fingers, well, who's wrong doesn't matter. Mm. There could have definitely been somebody who finagled you. You could feel finessed or finagled, bamboozled, hoodwinked in a situation, okay? Either romantically or when it comes to like your money. It could be with your job or it could be with a purchase that you made recently. You may have felt like somebody tricked you, hoodwinked you, you know, into believing something that wasn't actually true. What else for Gemini for August 2024? checking on you okay so somebody's definitely going to be reaching out to check on you this could be your friends they may want to check on you to make sure you're good i would definitely express how you feel in an open way if you trust these people okay at the bottom we have blame again harboring resentment pointing fingers who's wrong doesn't matter who i don't know if someone's blaming you for something or you're blaming someone else Big heart, truly, they truly mean well. It's just not meant to be the love you had is real. So if you guys definitely went through some type of breakup or major life change, it's going to help you not to kind of like point fingers in the situation. There's something that I feel like was meant to be on your path. With this vehicle card, I feel like sometimes a vehicle can represent a mode of transportation that's not just literal, but also figurative. Some of you guys may have been transported or moved or relocated to a new place, a new space, whatever it is that's going on where you're being taken from one thing to another. And that's like a spiritual vehicle. So some of you guys may be on a new path, like your path may have been adjusted or changed because there was something that you were meant to learn or see or do. Like my sons, 
I had to take them out of school because we just moved. And I was talking to the one of the administrators today at the school front office. And she was talking about how her daughter, like, lost a bunch of people to death, um, like, years ago. It, it may have been, like, back in, I think, 2020 or 2019. But they had to literally relocate from Pennsylvania to Georgia. And her daughter was so frustrated because of all of the death that she experienced and because of having to be picked up and moved so far away that she stopped believing in God. And, like, everybody has their own choices. You can believe what you want to believe. I don't judge anybody over here. I believe in God, but you can believe what you want to believe. However, us having the conversation, it's like now her daughter has realized through her own time that she can have belief in whatever she wants to believe in her own way. And she's starting to like come back around to not being so upset and depressed. She's starting to have more faith in herself and in a higher power. And her mom was talking to me about that because I was telling her about my son and having to move him away from his friends and out of school and things like that. So I just feel like whatever you're dealing with right now, there are people around you who I feel like want to help you um, heal. There are people around you who want to help you like blow off steam. So try your best to understand that whatever's happening in your life is happening for a reason. And I don't think that anyone is to blame. There could have been somebody who kind of like lied to you. So they are to blame for whatever they did. I don't condone anyone's negative actions towards you at all. But I I think that what spirit is trying to get you to see is that everything happens for a reason. And like, if there's a situation where you feel down either about yourself or just about your situation, you don't necessarily have to dwell on it if you can. Because I think that your spirit team is trying to show you that there's a reason for the changes that are happening in your life, okay? So let's just see for you, Gemini. If you're going through something, I really do hope that you guys start to feel better. You may be feeling really strong emotions right now. And you may be uncertain about the future, but I really feel like your spirit team wants you to see the power that you have and the magic of, like, the energy around you, okay? So what's the situation, spirit, for Gemini in August 2024? What is the situation? King of Pentacles. This could have to do with your father or somebody who you work for, a boss. This could be you with the King of Pentacles. Yeah, but this feels like it's a family member. You may be receiving some positive information or positive news. I feel like you're going to start to feel happier. You're going to start to feel like you have more of a handle on what's going on in your life in the month of August. Okay, what's the King of Pentacles? You may start to look forward to things more. Yeah, Six of Pentacles. The more that you give your energy to things that make you happy, the better you'll feel. Okay, yeah, the Six of Swords. So June could have definitely been significant. Yeah, I feel like there's definitely a relocation that happened or a move that took place. I feel like you guys are still trying to work through the emotions. This could even be you moving on from a person or a relationship. And I feel like you're still trying to work through the emotions. You're not necessarily out of the woods yet when it comes to like getting over this situation. But you have someone helping you navigate, whether it's a physical person or a spiritual person. There is an energy around you of someone who's helping you kind of navigate the choppy waters that you're going through. Okay. And the number six could be significant. I feel like there's a strong emphasis, though, about like you being given some type of reward for trying to work through these emotions or trying to work through the thoughts. It's more, I feel like it's more so like thinking about things. I don't know. I don't know if you're thinking about what could have been or if you're thinking about what you had or if like there's this reminiscing type of energy. I'm kind of feeling like a six of cups 
type of energy like oh my gosh something would have been so good if it would have worked out you know something would have been so great if i could have been able to stay there or do this or whatever but it's like that's not what was meant to happen and if you think about that all of the time you'll never really be in the present moment of whatever's going on currently what's the king of pentacles three of wands yeah something about your expectations as well I feel like you're expecting to receive something. I don't know if it's money, a check, um, some type of payout of some kind. I feel like you're waiting for this to come in. You're expecting some type of money to come in. I feel like it will. Six of swords at the bottom again. See, look, and then the six of wands. Yeah, there's some type of nostalgia that I feel like you're having about a situation or a person. It's like you're moving on from something and maybe, maybe you know that things are going to get better and that's a good outlook. That's a good perspective to have. Like, even if you're not feeling the, your best right now, if you know that you're going to feel better soon, that's what really matters in the situation. I feel like you are moving on successfully and I, I honestly feel like you can expect some type of like balance to come into your life i feel like you're going to start to feel more stable in whatever situation you're in like there's something that's new in your life that you're it's like you're going to get used to it right but the more like these sixes are very significant so i don't know if somebody's a cancer or i mean you could be born in june because gemini season is the end of may and early june so this could have been around your birthday Okay, maybe you expected to receive a gift from someone on your birthday. This could be a masculine energy. It, it looks like it's a man. And you may have been expecting to receive something on your birthday from this person. But maybe you didn't get what you thought you were going to get. Or, you know, maybe something didn't work out the way you thought it was going to work out. But I feel like if you embrace, like the more you embrace the changes that, that are going on in your life, the better I feel like you're going to feel. Yeah, the emperor. This could be about your father. Okay. Yeah. You may have been expecting to receive something from your father or from a boss. Maybe you were expecting a raise or a promotion. I feel like if you have a boss who keeps promising you a raise or promotion... I feel that maybe you'll get it in the next three months, but you may have to like really stay on people's necks because it feels like you might have somebody who's making you wait for something and they're taking their sweet time. And I feel like there's some type of strategy where it's like your boss or your father or someone who is an authority figure over your income or your life. It's like they keep making you wait for something while we have Empress as well and the Magician. Some of you, I don't know who you are, but maybe you work for a mom and pop company. Like you, Maybe you work for a married couple for some of you. Some of you, this may be your mother and your father, okay, that you're expecting to receive something from. Okay, so what's the obstacle? What's the issue in August that Gemini may be facing when it comes to these messages? Six of Cups. Yeah. It's like the past. These memories or thoughts of the past. Like you may not feel safe or secure. You may feel like your security has been threatened or your safety has been threatened or your comfort zone has been challenged in a situation. You may feel like something is really bad. But you're going to get over it a lot more quickly than what you think. Okay. You may receive something. I don't know if it's that. Uh, I don't know if it's like a huge amount of money or a big thing. But I feel like you're going to receive something that you need. You're going to receive something that you need. Okay. Some of you may be feeling betrayed by a sibling as well. A brother or a sister. What's the six of cups for the obstacle? Because I feel like there's this energy of like something collapsing or something falling apart and you feeling like it's never going to get better. But that's only how you feel right now. Okay. The ace of cups. 
Yeah, I feel like there's definitely confusion when it comes to the past or when it comes to memories that you have. Like, how could something feel so right but then turn out to be so wrong? Or how could something feel so secure but then be insecure? Yeah, Six of Swords again, Eight of Cups. I feel like you're really going to be trying to move on from these emotions and thoughts that are difficult. Okay. What's the Six of Cups? Seven of Swords. Yeah. I feel like somebody may have betrayed you or you feel betrayed by a situation. You may be planning on expressing your emotions to someone, but you don't know how. You may not know how to like tell people how you feel. You may you may be struggling kind of expressing yourself. Queen of Cups, Eight of Swords. You may be worried that someone's going to be upset when they find out the truth about how you feel. But with the Queen of Cups, this person, I I feel like they are understanding and loving. Somebody this could be your mother. Okay. Some of you could have a mother who you feel like maybe does more than your father. I don't know. But there's this feminine energy, this Queen of Cups energy and this Empress energy that I feel like motivates you. You may feel like someone is your other half. If you're the Queen of Cups or you're the Empress, take it how it resonates. But I feel like there's definitely someone who's worried about whether or not a plan is going to work out. Or they're worried about whether or not like their strategy is going to work out. But it's like somebody has nothing to worry about. So I don't know if that's you or someone else. Okay. What's hidden in the situation for Gemini? The Eight of Swords. So somebody is stressed. Somebody's definitely stressed out about something that they really don't need to be stressed out about. It's because they've been disappointed by things in the past. It's because someone's been hurt in the past. Someone is trying to get over like the feelings of betrayal from their past. Or they're trying to work through it. But it's hard for whoever this is, whether it's you or someone else. You may understand this person. But I feel like what's hidden is that somebody's really anxious. Somebody's feeling really trapped. Someone's feeling very worried. They may be very cut off from their emotions or not. It, it's like it kind of feels like someone is struggling to find an outlet to express their emotions or struggling to articulate their emotions. So I don't know if this is you or if this is someone else. But yeah, I feel like Gemini, this could be you, but it could also be someone who you're really connected to. You could be kind of like empathically picking up on another person's feelings but um, you and another person are really close together. It's like you're being drawn closer together. You're being brought closer together. This could even just be you making a lot of choices that you're not really sure about. But I feel like you're being pulled by the universe down a certain path because they want you to see an opportunity. You may be worried about a new opportunity. Some of you, if this is your job and you have a boss that hasn't been giving you a raise, but they've been promising to give you a raise for months or even years and you aren't getting it. Some of you could be worried about like finding a new job. Like it's a big choice. Okay. What's the eight of swords for what's hidden? The 10 of Pentacles. Yeah. This could be a family situation that has you stressed out or it's, it's a financial situation that I feel like could have you stressed out, worried about money, worried about your income, worried about like how things are going to go. And I feel like that's why this card came out about shifting your money mindset. And like, it, it kind of feels like your spirit team wants you to know that there's a plethora of resources. Like there's an abundance of resources. And I know it sounds crazy sometimes because you're like, okay, well, where the fuck are they at? You get what I mean? But it's more so about like you having a mindset that dictates opportunity. Like you waking up every day and being like, you know what? No matter what I face, I know that my path is ordained. I know that what's meant for me is meant for me. I know that there's nothing I have to worry about and that I'm taken care of because my divine purpose is outlined just for me. And when you wake up like that, it's like you know that whatever is meant to come to you is going to come to you. And I think 
I don't know if you guys are struggling with this or if you have like a father or a mother who's struggling with this or a sibling, a friend, maybe even a child who's struggling with this. Okay, but it feels like a family member. Lovers at the bottom again. There's a really big choice that you guys are going to have to make either personally or professionally, it feels like. You've been getting confirmation of the choice that you needed to make for a long time. I feel like there may also be like hidden helpers that kind of show up to help you make this choice or to help you confirm the direction you need to go i really feel like your spirit team wants you to take some time to regroup and to take care of yourself because i feel like there's some type of illusion that you're believing that's not true and whatever that illusion is it's causing you to like not look into every option it's causing you to kind of like overlook things that could be beneficial in this situation okay what's the eight of swords for what's hidden Queen of Pentacles. So, yeah. I'm not sure who these people are, but it feels like a mother and father or it feels like a female or male boss or a mom and pop company who you work for. You may work for your mother, work for your father. This could be a family-owned business. But it could also be like you work for someone and their spouse is like their business partner or something like that. Oh, I see a spider. Apparently, that's good luck, child, but I don't want that mug to jump on me. Okay. Could be an earth sign, a Virgo feminine energy who's worried about something. You also have Aries out here, possibly Taurus and Capricorn. And then we saw Cancer Scorpio Pisces with the Queen of Cups. Mm -hmm. It's like somebody just has everything that they need, but they're still worried about something. And I'm not sure why. Yeah, because this is a big change. And it may be sudden. Scorpio energy really strongly. Something is changing. Something is transforming. And I feel like the transitional period is what has somebody stressed out. That's really what it is. It's like whatever this trans transitional period is. Or whatever this leap of faith is that someone has to take all of a sudden. It could be very stressful and overwhelming. Okay, what is the advice for Gemini when it comes to, yeah, embrace the change. Embrace the change. Don't be afraid of it. Try to take it on from a perspective of like being excited about the future. Yeah, justice and the devil. I feel like there's a lot of justice, a lot of balance, a lot of um, equilibrium that you're going to gain back. Like, something is balancing out in your favor. This change is in your favor. And there may be a lot of things ending really quickly, but it's going to open up a door for you to get what it is that you've really been wishing for, what you've really been wanting. But you can't be afraid to take this step and move forward. I feel like somebody may be trying to scare you or, like, point out negativity I don't know if a masculine energy is doing this, but somebody may be trying to intimidate you or make you afraid of like whatever this step is that you're going to take. Like, I don't know if your child is going to college. It kind of feels like a kid who's going to college who's afraid to, you know, they're afraid of what may happen. Or it feels like somebody who's just moving to a new city, state or zip code. But or, or somebody who needs to quit their job after all these years and they finally are ready to like start a new job. That's what it kind of feels like. And it feels like whoever this is, whether it's you or someone else, is really afraid to take this step because they don't know what's on the other side of the door. But I feel like it's something really positive. What's the death card for advice? Yep, six of wands. I'm telling you. By June next year, you're going to feel... So much better. And I feel like it could even happen sooner than that. Pay attention to how you're feeling. Pay attention to what's happening. I really feel like your spirit team wants you to see the coincidences that are not really coincidences. And I say that like that on purpose. It's like something is not a coincidence. It's a confirmation. It's a synchronicity. 
You may be getting a lot of attention, and this is a big change. Yeah, Queen of Wands and Judgment. Your spirit team really wants you to be confident that this change in your life is going to be successful. They want you to see that you can be successful in any room that you're being put in. What's the death card? Yeah. You're going to start to see signs that something is working out in your favor and you're accomplishing goals. Yeah. But they don't want you to give up. Yeah, this is an opportunity that your spirit team, it's like they don't want you to walk away from this or give up on this or basically like be too afraid to take this step. They want you to know that you don't have to fear anything. You have three sixes out here. So you're definitely being guided in a new direction. What's the six of pentacles? Ooh. Eight of Swords reversed. Yeah, if you, I feel like if you're asking your boss for a promotion, I feel like you should do it. I feel like you should do it because I feel like there's money available for you to get this promotion. Like your boss is probably going to say yes, like, but you have to go into it without fear. You can't be like, um, you know, I think, well, that maybe I could possibly, you know, get a raise or like, they want you to step into the room with confidence. King of Pentacles, hangman. I feel like someone is waiting for you to say this or someone was waiting for you to do this. This could even be a business idea. Maybe you've been waiting to invest in this business, but you've been afraid maybe of the response that you're going to receive. But I feel like people, there, there's some type of demand for you. There's some type of demand for your craft, for your skills, for what you're able to do. And I also feel like if someone is keeping you hanging, making you wait, and kind of like saying that they're going to do something, but they never do it, I feel like your spirit team wants you to realize that whoever this person is, is not afraid to keep you hanging. So you have to make the choice that you have to make that's best for you. Because whether you receive the promotion at your current job, or whether you go to a new job and you get higher pay rate, you're getting what's meant for you. And you're basically not allowing anyone to continue to like steal your time or energy. What's the seven of swords? Be mindful of distractions as well in August. Yeah, be mindful of things that are trying to distract you from what it is that you want. Three of swords, page of swords. A lot of things catch your attention. Or there, there are going to be a lot of things this month that catch your attention. And your spirit team doesn't want you to get distracted. They, they specifically don't want you to get distracted by things that you feel like are disappointing or things that have hurt you, things that you feel pain from. They don't want that to distract you from like focusing on your plan and what it is that you really want. What's the Ace of Cups? Yeah. Because I feel like those feelings of pain or agony or sadness, it's real. And it's something that you deserve to like acknowledge, but it's also something that if you dwell on it too much, it, like the memories of the past and what you feel like you missed out on or what you feel like you lost, if you dwell on that too much, it's going to distract you and it's going to keep you further from your goal. Like it's going to extend the amount of time that it's going to take for you to reach this success. Yeah. I feel like your spirit team really wants you to look at things from a different perspective, like all the things that may not have worked out have taught you how to do whatever you're about to do. And it set you up to build something very strong and successful. Okay. What's this queen of Pentacles? Cause you saw, we saw the Empress and the Emperor is out here and now we have the queen and the King of Pentacles. So there's something that's going on with your mother or your father. I also feel like if your mother or your father is asking you for like help or they're expecting you to do something like with your money, your time, your energy. It's like there's somebody just had that has a expectation of like you doing something that you're not required to do. 
don't be afraid to put your foot down and let people know, like, I don't want to do that. Hierophant. This could be a Taurus or a Virgo feminine with the Queen of Pentacles. This could be somebody who works for your company or organization, or you work for them. But there's a strong message that you or someone else consistently has what they need. Like they're consistently blessed by God. Like, so there's really no reason to worry. Yeah, somebody's worried about something for nothing. I feel like your spirit team wants you to be confident that you're going to get an opportunity or that you have the skill set required to receive an opportunity. Yeah, two of cups. You may go on an interview. I just feel like the overall message is to be confident. Yeah. Chariot, three of swords. Communicate in a positive mindset to your, like in a positive tone to yourself. Like, whatever it is that you say to yourself should be progressive, okay? What's the Ten of Pentacles? What's the Ten of Pentacles? Empress. Yeah, there's something, there's something coming in. Like, there's some type of abundance coming in or money or an opportunity that's going to be very fruitful. Yeah, you don't, I feel like you don't see it coming. Two of Swords. I don't know if you, there could also be a situation where you don't have faith in someone, but you should. And I don't know why I have to say that, but I don't know who this feminine energy is. It could be you. Like, maybe you don't have faith in yourself. You might not have faith in someone else, but there's someone here who's afraid of something that's irrational. It's like, it, it's a rational fear because of what you've experienced in the past, but it's no longer applicable to your situation. So whether that's with you or another person in your life, it's like, yeah, someone is not seeing that they have the resources that they need or someone is not seeing that they're fully capable to do something because they're worried that they don't have enough or they won't be able to do enough, something like that. What's the Page of Pentacles for advice? Chariot? Yeah, something is moving forward quickly. I feel like you're being taken out of a comfort zone. But there's going to be signs and synchronicities that show you that something is going to work out successfully and that something is changing for the better. Yeah, because there was something falling apart. I don't know what this is, whether this this could be a breakup. You're going to see proof that you've changed in the next like three months. I know it's for August. It could be three weeks, but there's some type of breakup. We saw the breakup card, but it could be a disruption. Like it literally could be a kid going off to college, moving out the house and you have empty nest syndrome. It could be, uh, you know, some type of parental issue with your parents. Maybe you have to move your parents in, you know, whatever this major change is that's happening, you're going to see yourself progress through it very quickly, a lot more quickly than what you think. And you're going to see proof that you're, successfully overcoming a situation but i do feel like there's a need for you to fight like jim and i don't give up on yourself like whatever you do don't give up on yourself there's a need for you to fight for what it is that you want you know and to take care of yourself in the process okay what else does jim and i need to know about august 2024 stranger the stranger it says someone or something you have yet to encounter will enter your life and completely change your reality. Okay. What else does Gemini... Damn. The side piece. There's a third party involved in the situation or someone else's actions are going to influence the outcome. But I don't think it's negative. I feel like there's someone who you haven't met yet that's about to come into your life that you're not even paying attention to. Like, you're not even looking for this person, and they're going to affect the outcome of a situation. But it kind of feels like in a positive way. <clears throat> Y'all be sure to like the video, guys. What else for Gemini, August 2024? Yeah, the born witch. You have all the tools you need 
incorporate spell work to empower and support you through life's journey. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I was feeling like you guys have everything that you need. You just have to believe it. At the bottom, we have the protector. Angels are providing protection while spiritual changes are occurring around you and guiding you to your true path. Right. I feel like there was a deviation from your current path that you were on to put you more in alignment with your true path. Okay. And you're going to meet someone who confirms this for you or helps to influence the situation. Then we have the Casanova. You're attracting a whirlwind romance. Ooh, child. Filled with passion and excitement. May or may not go the distance. So, yeah, there's someone coming into your life who I feel like may be helping you, like, have a pleasant distraction in this situation. I wouldn't get too caught up in a person coming into your life and, like, I feel like there could be a soulmate that comes into your life, but it doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to be in your life for a lifetime. It feels like they're going to be in your life for like a season, a reason, or a lifetime, like, like they say in the saying, okay? It doesn't necessarily feel like they're going to be here forever, but they could just be a helpful distraction for whatever you may be going through at this time. To help relieve some type of tension or stress. Because I really feel like you guys are needing to relieve some type of stress. Or take some type of self-care day to do something for yourself. Okay? So let's see real quick, Gemini. What is an important time frame for Gemini in August, Spirit, 2024? Up in the air. So something that's up in the air is about to be more concrete. It's up to you, though. Yeah. So once you make a decision to solidify either your emotions or your situation, that's when something is going to be more concrete. OK, within six months. Yeah. So whatever's going on right now, six months is significant. You may want to remind yourself, you know, in your calendar for six months from now to like basically just check in with your progress to see if you're able to see some type of advancement or forward progress in your life because I feel like that even I, I feel like I felt three months so within six months is I mean three months is within six months so I feel like there's going to be a turnaround like however you're feeling right now after this disruption you're going to start to feel a change I'm I'm getting between the next three to six months okay What's the advice for Gemini when it comes to these messages? All right, you guys. So it says prioritize self-healing right now. I'm telling you, I'm not just saying it out the side of my neck just to be talking shit. But whatever. Prioritize self-healing right now. Put your needs above others for once. It's time to focus on you. Self-healing takes time and a lot of self-love. Remember, open wounds don't heal into scars overnight. Take the time you need in order to feel happier and healthier within yourself. There is no rush. Okay? So that could be what's happening. You could be trying to hurry up and get over something. And kind of avoid it or ignore it. Or run away from it. But Spirit is telling you that that's not going to help you in the long run. You can be kind to yourself in this situation. You don't have to be perfect or have everything right. And it's okay. Okay, at the bottom it says, this is your validation that things are finally beginning to work out for you. Get ready for unexpected breakthroughs, good news, and plot twists. Blessings are coming, okay? If you are feeling stuck in any area of your life, whether it's in a relationship, a job, or just a situation, ask yourself, what is stopping me from leaving? Yes, leaving is scary, but sometimes it's the right step to take. Be brave. We are right beside you. I told you. So I hope that explained it, Gemini. I hope that helped you guys. Y'all be sure to donate if you want to be entered to win a free reading. The more you donate, the more chances you have to win. The link is below in the description box. The drawing is going to be taking place on Lionsgate, August 8th, 2024. Be sure to like the video, you guys. Spam your Gemini uh, symbols in the comments. And subscribe if you are new. And that's it. I will see y'all next time. Bye.